Planet Dolan. From ladies laughing at your junk to Chinese toilet megaplexes, we count 13 of the most bizarre public bathrooms and urinals. Hey there, I'm Hellbent. I'm here to learn you suspiciously amazing facts that I didn't just make up. Number 13. No trip to the toilet is complete without a gaggle of strange ladies laughing at your penis to Milo. Whoever designed this bathroom thought it'd be an outstanding idea to install life-size photos of women leering over each urinal. The women stand there mocking your privates while you drain your snake, making your toilet experience an unsatisfyingly awkward one. Number 12. If women laughing at your rod really isn't your thing, maybe these lipstick urinals are a little bit more up your alley. Why you'd want to take a whiz on two gigantic red lips is beyond me, but everybody has their kink, I guess, so if you want to find these, they exist somewhere in Australia. I wonder if they have a female equivalent, you know, like a toilet bowl with a beard around the rim. Number 11. If only there was a way you could take a piss and score goals at the same time. Oh wait, you can! Introducing the Wii Goal, a miniature soccer pitch that you can play with your pee pee. What a time to be alive. Now you can Wii your way into the Champions League. <laughs> Number 10. Okay, so these aren't functional toilets, but it's weird enough to be included because why the hell are people sitting on toilet seats in a restaurant? It's 8 p.m. You're meeting your Tinder date, and for some reason you're in Taiwan. You're a man with specific taste, but you haven't told your date yet, so you take her to a place where it looks like people are shitting while they eat. Will she understand your needs? Maybe not. Maybe you meet somebody at the bar who does understand your needs. Maybe you have a fun time at home in the bathroom. Ugh. Number eight. Finally, someone invented a public toilet which lets you stare people straight in the face while you take a shit. The one-way mirror design makes this bathroom look like your average city mirror cube. Inside, however, the pooping persons can feel like the whole world is watching them while they stimulate their bowels. You know, some people can't go while others are watching. Maybe some people can't go if people aren't watching? I don't know. Number nine. Why can't people be happy just pissing in a good old-fashioned urinal? Why do they have to complicate life by pissing into vintage trombones? Using a toilet is so mainstream. I prefer pissing into brass instruments because it's different and unique. That doesn't make me weird. I'm just ahead of the times. You don't understand. If you were cool like I am, you'd get it. Really, it's just political commentary on the jazz scene. Number seven. It's like the old saying goes, couples who shit together, stay together. Honestly though, this toilet is baffling. Not trying to kink shame here, but why would anyone in their right mind want company while they take a shit? Though I guess if you can synchronize your bowel movements with your partner, you probably have a pretty solid relationship at least. The only people who can claim this is practical are Siamese twins who are literally joined at the head. And even then, I'm pretty sure they could still just take turns. Number six. This bad boy is the most ludicrous urinal yet. It's a pee canister which hides in your golf club. It's called the Euro Club. You know, as in urine, not European. Although I guess you're meant to be a peeing in this thing. The golf club is designed to look exactly like a legit golf club, but it has a discreet reservoir for super subtle tinkle times. Cause you know, peeing in the grass or getting up behind a tree to take a piss, that's too exposed. I need to put my cock into a golf club. Nothing suspicious about that at all. No, 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 don't kick me out of the country club. It's the new style. See, you unzip your pants and put the end of the putter right up next to your dick. It's for balance. Number five. I wish going to the bathroom was more of a social gaming experience, said nobody ever. Even still, these public toilets have been converted into gaming, so now you can compete while you excrete. The gamer bathroom doesn't bother with privacy either. I mean, what good is a high score if people don't see you make it? Number four. This bathroom is brought to us by wonderfully inventive Japanese designers. The Ski Slope Toilet. The walls of the bathroom are painted so the guest feels like they're about to slide down a humongous mountain. If you're scared of heights, you're in the right place to shit your pants. There's even a pair of skis that you can slip on to make the whole ski pee experience even more realistic. Number three. Speaking of heights, if you have acrophobia, you might not want to use this hellacious toilet hanging over a bottomless pit. If you're having trouble stimulating your bowels, this is sure to get your crap factory moving again. The floor is made of reinforced glass, but it doesn't stop the feeling of plummeting to your death while taking one last poop any less real. Number 2 
People are always asking us, hey, is there a place I can go to piss in a receptacle of death? Well, we're happy to report that yes, yes there is. These are life-size coffin urinals and they're scary as hell. The screeching bad heads are elegantly installed at eye height to stare into your soul, reminding you of your futile mortality and the general pointlessness of existence. Oh man, I can almost feel the Tim Burton clown makeup just sprouting off of my face reading that. More black eyeliner! More! I want to look like the saddest kid in school! That being said, this kind of stuff is kind of spooky for the kids, so don't let little Timmy see it. He might turn into a walking hot topic. Number one. Deep in the depths of China, there's a theme park that claims to have the largest amount of public toilets anywhere in the world. More than a thousand of the most bizarre toilets can be seen in the entertainment area known as Foreigner Street in Chongqing. Dubbed Porcelain Palace, the huge bathroom complex has been influenced by Gotti's Park in Barcelona and has been described as super kitschy. Can't imagine why. And that's all I got, but if you were going to try to make an improvement on the time-tested toilet, what would it be? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Confronting Napoleon in his bath, the fight went down the way you'd expect between brothers. Napoleon viciously splashed one with water, terribly soaking him and broke the other's snuff box. This brutal aquatic assault silenced them and the purchase went through, changing the course of history.